we have here a nice large dog castration for your viewing pleasure today. All my dog castrations, I do pre-scrotal, unless they're juveniles. So, we're gonna push our testicle up into the pre-scrotal area and make an incision. generally try to break down some of this fascia but in order to preserve my hands I will go ahead I just bluntly dissect so that I can see where all of our blood vessels are and then strip our cord down and this is one of the most important parts to not getting cord bleeding is making sure that everything is stripped down as far as you can, that fat's gonna get into the way um, and potentially cause bleeding. So I'm gonna do a modified Miller's knot, and basically I go around once, I go around twice. I'm gonna put my needle drivers through the loop, wrap around, and grab my tail. And so I am confident with this knot that only one is all I need. I don't transfix. Um, I don't have double light eight. And check for bleeding. So I'm gonna replace that and we're gonna do it again on the other one. So I'm gonna push up the testicle again into the pre-scrotal area. Push it out. Bluntly dissect. Cut. And then strip down the cord. And stripping down the cord, I use a little bit of backwards pull, but most of it is just a right handed forward motion. And again, we're going to do a single modified Miller's on this pedicle. I'm using 2 watt for a dog this size. Let me show that again a little bit slower. So we go around once, we go around twice, put my needle drivers through the loop, wrap around and grab the tail. for bleeding. We're good. So I'm going to go ahead and replace that. And now the second most common reason for scrotal hematomas is just sub -Q bleeding. In order to prevent that, I like to take very nice generous bites of the sub -Q space in order to kind of get some hemostasis to those small vessels. So incorporate as much of that sub space as I can on both sides. Deep to superficial, superficial to deep. And then I'm going to place the hemostat on this to save it for later. And we're going to continue these sub all the way down incorporating one side, middle, other side, and as you can see, again, I'm taking very generous bites the whole way down. This 
with an Aberdeen knot, basically a slip knot, and then pull the suture all the way through. And I'm gonna pull this without cutting, I'm gonna pull it right back up through my intradermals. Now that I'm at the top, I want to bring my suture back down to where my tag is. I'm going to reverse it a little bit. And now I've got two deep ends that I can tie together. Set. 